Après The Aroma of Tea, voici donc un portrait de son réalisateur, Michael Dudoc de Witt, cinéaste d'origine néerlandaise, certes, mais qui vit à Londres. My best creative moments, I need emptiness. I need to know that I won't be interrupted and I need a clean surface and a clean space. Um, and um, while I'm in, in the process, I can be very messy, but ideally, I immediately clean everything at the end of the day or at the end of the job so that I, I have a fresh start next time again. No, I, th I think the line is. I love the line. I love. I just love the line, and that's why the brush is, is such a good tool because the, the line is so rich with the brush. But just by a simple dark line and a light surface, I, I already feel fulfilled. There was one thing really standing out. Is um, at some point in in my twenties, I, I saw um, brush drawings by um, uh, Buddhist monks, Japanese Buddhist monks. And then later, um, I saw uh, drawings of uh, Chinese comics, um, political comics, and they were, I mean, they were exquisite. They were an eye-opener for me, and um, especially the, 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 done, the drawings done by monks, because they were very simple, um, but not childish. They were uh, very extremely mature, and and they kept their, they kept the, the spontaneity and, and the freshness. Um, And I think I think if if I could look back on a, a major influence, that would have been the, major, the biggest influence. <laughs> Yeah, for, uh, for me, I, I, I can't just do a film because it's fun. Um, although I, I enjoy animating and sometimes I enjoy it a lot. Um, I, if I make my own film, I have to be totally, totally madly in love with the idea. And um, then it becomes an obsession. I've only got one wish is to make the film and to see it um, coming to life and to see it complete. I'm not keen on making films which 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 are intellectual and, and in which um, people um, members of the audience can um, d draw big philosophical conclusions. Um, if I use a simple a symbol, it's usually because it has a, a, an immediate, a very an intuitive appeal. And I don't want it to be too complicated. So, for instance, in Monk and the Fish, um, for many uh, people, the fish is a symbol of the Christ. And um, fine, but um, if, it's, if it's not perceived as such, that's absolutely fine uh, as well. <laughs> I just love, I just love expressing the, the feeling of time. All my films, time is linear. It starts at one point and it finishes at another point, and you and you travel in a straight line from one to, to second. But in, in Father and Daughter, the time is also circular, and uh, and the two con don't contradict each other. Things always come back in the same in the same way, just like the seasons do. And and another way of doing it is um, showing a lot of um, moments of of nature. There's You know, the way a, a bird flies across the sky, there's something timeless about it. If it flies fast or slow, that's not the point. It's just the presence of the bird. The, bird is always, the birds have always been there. They will always be there. Um, to show a cloud just hanging in the sky, to show treetops, or um, just to show the wind moving in the branches.
as a child I, I spend a lot of time in nature and I remember for instance once as a child looking at the clouds in the sky and seeing that there was a very clear relationship between my interest in the clouds and my love for my grandmother, um, a grandmother I, I adored. Um, and I, it, I realized with a shock that uh, my emotions are, I express my emotions by, by what I see around me. As I've got a relationship with nature which is emotional, not, not um, as an observer. In, in animation, there, there are lots of levels of movements. You have the, the movement of the character, um, and you have the movement of, of the story. Um, you have the movement of the editing, the, the way you, you, you go from one landscape to an, another landscape. So one image, um, uh, a point of view, and so forth, and suddenly you jump to a completely new landscape. And, and that's, that's a movement by itself. And of course, you've got camera movements. And finally, you have the movements of the composition. So, for instance, in one scene, I may have a very striking diagonal line going right across the screen, and in the next scene, the line will have a slightly different direction. And, and, and that's a movement, a, like a graphic movement, a graphic sequence of movements. And, you, you, uh, and all these interact together. They all enhance each other, or they go against each other, whatever you, 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 you make of it. Um, and you, uh, I think that's, that's what uh, an animator ideally likes to play with. It likes to play with all these movements um, individually and bring them together. Uh, I suppose not unlike um, um, an orchestra or a band, where the, the different instruments all have their, their own movements, um, but together they, they enhance each other and they, they give it an, an, an orchestra. Originally, I, want, I wanted to use black ink um, because pure black is, is just extraordinary. And then, um, just out of the blue, I thought it would be nice to use something different. Um, and tea came very quickly uh, to my mind because it's, it's, it's a very, very strong, very strong color. It's a very strong liquid. I, of course, I thought of other liquids, um, a, whole, a whole range of them, red wine and and even um, bodily fluids, but um, tea is, um, there's something noble about tea, it has a funny contradiction, it's at the same time there's something very simple about tea and something very complex about tea. Also, I think there's a link between, my main inspiration was um, uh, oriental calligraphy, it's not a calligraphic film, but it's an inspiration. Tea to me, uh, to me has an oriental atmosphere. So I, th I thought it would be appropriate to use the two. The stories that I have told in, in my films, um, I'm, th I'm thinking even of my, my film, The Aroma of Tea, which is almost non-narrative. Um, they are so simple and so basic. It's basically, um, um, it, it's about separation and it ends in, in union. That's all. That's, probably the, the, the most common theme in, in many stories, in many love stories and other stories. And they are so, they are so simple that I felt very strongly about them. I didn't feel like I now want to tell a, a beautiful, beautifully complex story or a beautifully original story. I just wanted to express that, that, that um, uh, during the whole story there's separation. In other words, it's, it's not harmonious and at the end there's union. And it's very simple, um, and, and, and in a way that's all I wanted to say. <laughs>